My question is to the Minister of Transport. Does he stand by the government's record on the delivery of light rail? Uh, Mr Speaker. Uh, the uh, Hon. David Parker. A light rail connection from the Auckland city centre to the airport is government policy, as is progressing mass transit in Wellington, and that's what we've been doing. The planning of these major infrastructure projects is critically important. Right. Has he seen reports that zero metres of Auckland light rail have been built in the last six years? despite this government spending over $140 million on this program. And will he stand next to a giant red zero to celebrate this success? This government has made major improvements to the state highway network. This government has made major improvements to the state highway network. These big projects take time and, 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 uh, and duration are longer than any one government. Was he aware? on the day that he announced light rail to Albany, that it, to the day, exactly six years earlier, Phil Twyford announced light rail to Mount Roskill. And considering the outcome of that light rail project, what confidence does he have in delivering light rail to Albany? What I know, we in this side of the house have a plan to fix it. When will he concede that Auckland light rail is a failed transport project that is going nowhere, has no funding, and instead invest in the real transport infrastructure projects New Zealand needs, like new roads of national significance. Um, Mr Speaker, there are some new roads that are necessary. Right. I think this is a government which um, for six years has railed against building any roads in New Zealand, uh, and now they've decided it's time to build some roads. Uh, you just cannot believe this government when it comes to transport. They've had six wasted years. They haven't started and completed one major new infrastructure project in New Zealand. Uh, and now what they've released is just simply a pipe dream trying to bind New Zealanders' votes in a cynical and desperate attempt um, using the government policy statement on transport, Isn't whilst it? increasing uh, petrol taxes by 12 cents a litre as well.